what's your worst birthday memory? I had just turned 11, and had friends over for my birthday party. I brought people upstairs to show them my hamster. I get to her cage, look inside, and she's dead. Devastating for little me, awkward for all my friends. My son turned 4 this past Wednesday, and after I put him to bed that night, I noticed that his tortoise hadn't moved since lunchtime. He loves that guy. I picked him up and sure enough, he was dead. It was a 4 month old hatkling, not sure what went wrong, but I guess they're pretty fragile health wise. I felt so bad, for obvious reasons, but especially because it was his birthday. I had my husband run to buy a replacement, while our son was at preschool the next day, but one that's a little older and heartier. I shuffled him off, to school without letting him near the tank. Husband came home with one that's twice as old and three to four times bigger. Our son came home, ran to the tank, and was like whoa my baby got who who huge. Then asked to call all his grandparents on FaceTime to show them how big he got. He's going to be idly staring out of the window when he's 13, and it's going to click lol. When you grow up poor you kinda have low expectations for your birthday even at a young age. Having grown up like that, it is always a little weird, when I meet people in their mid or late 20s who get excited for their birthday. Like even having countdowns and whatnot. Perfectly normal but still amusing to me. Same. I grew up poor too, and we didn't really celebrate birthdays, we still don't. I don't even really tell people when my birthday is, because it was never a let's have a party, and eat cake, and go out thing it was just a happy birthday kids thing, if you know what I mean. I find it a little weird, when my friends say they have an amazing trip planned, or are going bar hopping all night, because my birthdays were always like stay at home maybe a cake and just stay in all day. Or sometimes for me, I worked on my birthday, because I needed the money and couldn't afford to miss a day. Yep exactly the same for me. My mom would sometimes make my favorite dish, but of course that was mostly normal food, like I was used to eating like chicken and whatnot. It wasn't like I would request lobster or filet mignon. All in all though I never felt like I missed out. I had recently moved as a child, and had a really rough time of getting friends. On my first birthday party there, I had three sorta of friends come over to our house. It was the first time I ever had my own friends over. During the happy birthday song, my oldest sister came downstairs, shoved her hand into the middle of the cake my mom made, then left. I don't remember the consequences, or if she even got any, but I remember that sinking feeling of embarrassment and hopelessness. In the years to come, those friends did in fact become my best friends for a while. That sister seems like the type of person to have no friends, and take that loneliness out on others. How is your relationship with her now? Have you ever asked her, why she did it? Now that I'm older, I ask my brother about events all the time, just to see if he remembers, and what his perspective was. It's always interesting to have another opinion. We are actually pretty close now. She told me she doesn't remember why, and she laughed it off. What can ya do lol? No one wished me happy birthday, and it did so when one friend did it. I got into the mood, and started to cheer up way past midnight, singing it's ma day, and got responded with shh, your b day was yesterday. Another friend, whose birthday was 3 days after mine, got her day celebrated throughout the week. The friend that shushed me even gave her a nice present, while I was hanging out with them, just the three of us, and acknowledged the awkwardness of me being there to witness it. I've never been close to people before, at that point, so I was used to no one wishing my birthday. The present thing was like salt to the wound tbh. Well don't feel too bad about that, garbage people. Happy belated bud. Meh. The next year I spontaneously threw a day party and most of my friends came with food and drinks so, it wasn't too bad. Thank you for the day wish, I'll save it for this year as I forecast another lonely one throw a laser tag party, guarantee people show up. Every. Single. One. The reason was, because my uncle whom, sharing a birthday with, was a huge man-child insisted on having a bigger birthday party than my own. I was his junior by at least 30 years, why have a stick measuring contest with someone, that much younger than you? But here's the kicker. He died a couple years ago. My first party was, when I was 30, and I insisted on no party. 
I had one imposed anyway and his granddaughter took it upon herself to proclaim her sexuality to everyone there, like it's a coming out thing. All the while, his widow my actual blood relative aunt was crying the whole time, and belittling said granddaughter that lives with her. This past year, nearly same exact scenario. Next year, who knows? I don't want to. I'm going to head for the hills when it comes, and take my immediate family with me. My wife, my child, myself, no one else. I can't stand my birthday. A little more context. Every birthday I've had, has been shared with my four siblings, so it's never really been about me. All of my friends used to talk about how their birthdays were a special day for them, but I never got to celebrate on my birthday. We all waited till summer, to have a big party I shouldn't complain. Having a birthday party for 5 kids at once is cost effective and easier, since we didn't have a ton of money oh well. I know this feeling, kind of. I grew up with 4 siblings. My 3 brothers always had their own birthdays, and got their own gifts and cakes. For me and my twin sister though, our birthday present was for the whole family, to go camping a week. No cake, no other gifts. Just the normal annual camping trip that everyone took part in, no special treatment or anything to indicate that it was our birthday apart from the happy birthday wishes. I had another child two weeks after my son's birthday and he decided to always postpone his party a month so this won't be a problem. When I was 7, my mother hired a pony and a cart to come to my house for all the kids and... I got a really bad rash from the pony, and all the kids got to ride the pony, and I had to go inside, and my mother was rubbing cream on me, for probably 3 hours, and I never came outside, and by the time I got out the pony was already in the truck, and around the corner, so that was my worst birthday. When I was 16, I was supposed to go out on a date with a girl named Jilly. But there was another Michael in the class, that she apparently thought the date was with, so she went out with him, on my birthday. And, she got him a cake, at the restaurant. And it wasn't even his birthday, but I heard about it the next day in school. So, that was the worst birthday I think I ever had. Wait, that's Michael Scott's birthday story lol. Took me a second to remember this. Who for bad time, to find out you're allergic to horses. When I was little, one of my friends literally threw a screaming fit and clung on for dear life when her parents tried to get her out of the car to attend my party. When I was 18, my mum forgot because it was also Easter. Then I got stood up by the friends who were supposed to be meeting me at a bar. There was also one year I just moved to a new city, knew nobody, so I took myself to the cinema for a Keanu Reeves film. The projector broke about 10 minutes in. Most of my birthdays have ended up being just forgetably mediocre. Wow. By comparison, I've had great birthday parties. My worst was the time in middle school where the week before, I took a bunch of invitations my mom made, and I handed them to kids I recognized, because I didn't have any friends at school, but I did have autism. I waited at the bowling alley with my parents and the cake, but nobody showed up. Maybe they got lost. Have you seen any Keanu Reeves films since? On my 10th birthday, I broke my arm in PE from supermaning into the cinder block wall. I might have had a concussion, but when I went down to the nurse, she sent me back to PE with an ice pack. Luckily, since it was my birthday, my mom was at the school to eat lunch with me and diagnosed it in 2 seconds from asking me to hold her car keys and me not being able to. I had gone into shock and was pale as a ghost at this time. Every year on my birthday, my mom gets a facebook memory of a picture of me and the nurse, at the hospital, with my arm in a soft cast. Other than breaking my arm, my birthday was pretty great, since I got the presents I wanted. What a horrible nurse. Hope they got fired. She did, and was scared of my mom for the rest of the year, because the next day, my mom chewed her out. Wow. The school is lucky they didn't get it with a huge lawsuit. Source I'm a school principal. When I was 8, my godmother bought me a bike, a girl's bike, for my birthday. It was pink and had streamers. She meant well. My parents explained that she chose it because it was the bike she always wanted when she was a little girl, but never got. Still, it was hard as an 8 year old boy to pretend I was happy with it knowing friends would tease me about it. I get that she had always wanted the bike. But, why buy that for a boy? That's messed up. 
Right. That sounds incredibly self-centered. People are so strange. My dad put his birthstone in my class ring because he never graduated. He was an abusive father in every way, so I was shocked I even lived to graduate at all. Pawn that ring years later for groceries. Best meal I ever ate. I would have had a fun day with you spray painting the bike all sorts of colors you wanted. I have to I found out my girlfriend of two and a half years had been cheating on me for seven months with my best friend. She was sitting next to me on her phone when a notification from him came up, which she quickly swiped away. Later she left her phone at my house, and after just taking a glance, I knew what had happened. I had plans to go with my dad to see Megadeth live in concert. This was supposed to be a surprise, but my dad kinda ruined it when he blatantly asked, would you prefer floor or balcony seats? I just found out three days ago, though, that Dave Mustaine, Megadeth's lead singer, had been diagnosed with throat cancer and that nearly all of their upcoming shows were cancelled. TL Doctor found out long time GF was cheating, and found out Dave Mustaine had throat cancer and the show was cancelled. I should mention that these were on my 17th and 18th birthdays respectively. It was probably my first party with friends. I'd like to say I was probably 7, and I was addicted to Legos. I had Ninjago sets that I liked a lot, and at the party I let people in my room and I don't think that I'll ever forget how devastated I was when I found out they'd destroyed all the sets and built other things with them. That was the last time I let friends over for my birthday for a while. Man. And, knowing from experience, once those sets are destroyed, they never get put back together. They're all scrap pieces now. It's worse when it's happening in front of you, and your mom says you can't do anything about it, because they're younger than you, just playing, or that they're meant to be destroyed, because they're just blocks. Oh that must feel like garbage sorry man. My mom laughing as I opened up all clothes from Walmart, when I specifically told her to please not shop there for me. I wanted one outfit from a Abercrombie this was the 90s fi. She laughed as I cried. Then 3 months later my sister got old clothes from a Abercrombie for her birthday. Should have called mom out for it. I didn't she said it wasn't on purpose. That was a lie. I was not the favorite. Ah yes the old tripped, fell, and landed in Walmart. Remember you can pick out your mother's nursing home. Like, a really lousy one. But you wouldn't do it on purpose. Better yet, don't pick out a nursing home just take her to Walmart 